up here in the studio, and listen, we've got a terrific entertainer for you. He's all the way from Los Angeles. He doesn't look like he's from Los Angeles right now. You're going to see what he looks like in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Mr. Ron Wilson. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Did you ever have the feeling you were a wee bit overdressed? You ever have that feeling? I sometimes uh, feel that way. I was going to play a wee tune on my bagpipes, but I can't because they're broken. It's a very strange kind of thing. Would you just look at that? But I find a funny thing. If you pull this one, uh, that one goes up. And if you pull that one, that one goes up. You see? Just up and down. And I can see you understand how this works. Of course. How else? Pull this one, and that one goes up. However, if you put them like this, it's a different kind of a problem, because when you pull that one, that one still goes up. And you pull that one, that one goes up. And I know what you're thinking, that it goes all the way around, but it doesn't really, because if you take them like this, and you pull that one, that one goes up. And if you pull that one, that one goes up. Now, you're probably wondering how this whole thing works. It's all on account of this one over here. You see, because if you pull that one, that one goes up. And if you pull that one, that one goes up. I don't understand it myself. But I figure out, there's no way to finish this trick, because there's always one that's going to be hanging down. And so I have another tassel. You see, I have this one right here. And I always figured if we use the fourth tassel and pull this one down so that one went up, we can end up the way we start. <laughs> hey! Hey, you're a good group, by George. I'd like to do something that's going to look like a card trick, but it's not really a card trick at all. It's an experiment in ESP. And I call it an experiment because if it doesn't work, it was only an experiment. That's the way I cover my tracks. And I'm going to ask someone to come up and help me, and uh, let me just look around here. Uh, how about this lady? Would you like to come and help me? Thank you very much. Come on right over here. Uh, well, are you enjoying yourself? Very much. About what's your name? Betty. Betty, all right, Betty. Deck of cards right here. Do you play? Yes. Cards, I mean? Yes. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Do you ever go up to Las Vegas or Lake Tahoe and play a little blackjack? Yes. yes. Well, this is uh, kind of a thing like that. I'm going to show you this envelope right here. It's a manila envelope. Inside is one card. It's a big one, a big card, and it's a prediction. Now, I've never talked to you before. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. How would you like to cut the cards, please? Just cut the deck. Very good. Complete the cut. Terrific. I'll pick up the whole deck. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to deal the cards one at a time, face up on top of the envelope. And I'll call out the cards as you do this so you can see there's no cheating and all that stuff. Ready? Ready? And away we go. Face up. Stop any time you feel like it. Stop dealing. Okay. Right? Five of clubs, slow down, queen of spades, nine of spades, six of diamonds, five of clubs. Stop. No, ooh, that was kind of fast, wasn't it? Oh, you want to No, no, I'm only oh. kidding, I'm only okay. kidding. Have a look at the next card. What is the next card? Do you want to see? Yes, please. No, okay, uh, I want you to keep, keep it in your hand. hand. Show it to the camera, show it to the folks. You stopped on the four of hearts. Could I have the rest of the deck, please? You keep your card, dear. All right, now I told you folks in the envelope was one card. I've never talked to you before, is that right, Betty? That is correct. The card in the envelope is the same as yours, the four of hearts. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Yes, You want to believe be. it, it'd be a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> in the envelope, folks, one card right here, have a look. I have a four of hearts, and it seems to match. <laughs> Just heard somebody say, how does he do it? My mother-in-law used to say, why does he do it? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a I would like to do one more trick for you folks. You may have seen this before. I do a wee bit different. Trick of a newspaper, and this one is called The Star. A lot of good stuff in here, a lot of strange stuff, too. Actually, this is only two sheets of, uh, two sheets of paper right here. And the whole idea is to make a little tear across the top like that. Two sheets. Four pages. Obviously. A little fold. No monkey business. Or maybe just a wee bit. That gives us eight. That's where it gets tough. 
on the finger. Sixteen. And our last one. How many pieces of paper? Anybody? Thirty-two. Very good, very good. Thirty-two and one makes thirty-three, because I'm kind of an oddball. I like uh, odd numbers. Watch it closely. I'm going to do it very slowly, like slow motion. The first thing, oh my goodness, what a mess. However, if I could do like that, like slow motion, instant glue, we end up as we started with a move. Thank you very much.